Now to a dire warning about climate change. According to a new report, experts say that we have until 2030 to avoid catastrophe. It also says if unprecedented changes are not made and made soon, there will be irreversible damage to the planet. Scientists have issued their starkest warning yet about the danger of climate change. Fires, droughts and all kinds of extreme weather are set to intensify as global temperatures rise. What we do in the next few years will determine the next few thousand years. The dominant influence of the wasteful economy in modern society has resulted in an infinite generation of waste, escalating the damaging effects of climate change. In Jakarta alone, the reckless disposal of 7,000 tons of waste daily contributes to significant environmental damage. The demand for global landfill to accommodate the negligent attitudes towards waste has been a growing concern for the rise of greenhouse gases that significantly affects climate change. Instead of assisting to combat the environmental crisis, the architecture industry is accelerating the existing issues of the landfill, being one of the most wasteful industries which generates 2.2 billion tons of waste yearly. Due to the current architectural design values that do not strive for longevity, the process of construction and demolition further contributes to the increase of solid waste in landfill as buildings reach their end of life. The architecture industry is also threatening the environmental condition due to the endless exploitation of limited natural resources for construction. Such attitudes towards the environment lead to the effects of environmental degradation, which escalates the issues of climate change. Architects are pursuing the design of incineration facilities to deplete the landfill through the combustion of waste. With the complexity of waste treatment, the filtration of toxic components is not feasible. Such facilities are detrimental to the environment as well as the health of society and will only heighten the impact of climate change. So what can architecture do to make a change? Architects must realize the need to shift towards an architectural value that is ecologically formulated to reverse the Anthropocene epoch. The manifesto calls upon architects to break the chain in demand for extracting raw materials from natural resources and to practice a core principle of exploiting the infinite volume of waste as the sole resource for construction. Industries that are leading towards sustainable infrastructure have demonstrated the possibilities of transforming waste into materials that replicate similar structural properties to timber, as well as repurposing plastic waste to construct and improve the quality of roads. If other industries have realized the potential of exploiting waste as building materials instead of depending on natural resources, so can architecture. With the development of modern technology, the architecture industry could imagine the future of buildings that is sustainably constructed by solely repurposing waste as the primary source for all building components. The paradigm shift aims to restore the condition of the Earth's natural systems by depleting the landfill and ending the need to exploit from the natural environment. With such vision, the manifesto seeks to redefine the current approach of adaptable building designs to address the issues of constant waste generation in the architecture industry. The current implementation of design for this assembly seeks to reduce the continuation of construction waste by introducing flexible building methods with simple connection systems. It facilitates the dismantling of buildings to recover materials for recycling and repurposing. However, building materials are still prone to damages during the process of dismantlement. As such, 
damage building components still leads to the contribution of construction waste, which increases the rise of the landfill. For this reason, the manifesto seeks to redefine the take-make-reuse model to progress towards the success of material recovery. The paradigm shift in the new model make-use-reuse introduces building components made from landfill waste instead of raw materials. With this proposal, any damaged components can be regenerated again as building materials which reduces the generation of construction waste. With the new model, the architecture industry could imagine the future of building components that can be constantly reused by the ease of dismantlement. It also creates a sustainable construction method that is continuously renewable as building materials are essentially made from waste, ending the endless contribution to the landfill. A shift towards an ecologically formulated architectural paradigm is thus vital for architects to play a significant role in the design of architecture that can sustain and revitalize the natural environment. As such, the manifesto advocates for a change to rebel against exploiting natural resources for building materials and to maximize the practice of repurposing waste as building resources, to rebel against the endless waste generation through architecture and to maximize an adaptable design strategy with waste. By considering the severity of climate change, the manifesto calls upon architects to realize the need to respond to the environmental emergency of the 21st century. Architects can combat the root of environmental issues by preserving the conditions of the natural environment through architecture. The new architecture paradigm proposes to reverse the Anthropocene epoch and to seize the infinite generation of waste in the future of a sustainable architecture that is essentially made of garbage. <laughs>